Yeah. Okay. It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Jesus Christ. Grandpa, okay. Run. I didn't expect Hurry a cutscene from the get-go. <laughs> I don't have my bearings yet. <laughs> All right. Vert the Firk. Oh, I love the creepy twins. That's great. It's a good start. person in it, apparently. Oh, Jesus Christ. Grandpa, get those kids... Oh, my God. Get those kids away from that tree! What the fuck? This is the weirdest fucking opening to anything I've ever seen in my entire life. What the fuck are you doing? Just sauntering up. Whoa. Oh, I forgot I left this here. How about shielding their eyes? Jesus Christ, dude. Take those children away from this man. Some biblical references, maybe? Just me wait. Deadly promotion. The director's cut. Zack Snyder edition. Okie dokie. Get some good snacks. Yeah, bugs. Just block out the memory of the eviscerated woman in the tree. This one. Okay, okay, I definitely heard that. No! 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 This is very jazzy. You know what goes good with dystopian creepy horror? Slow jazz. Somebody take that man's saxophone away. This is very PS3 graphics. Kenny G, Kenny G. I like how I have no idea what's going on. It's just sad people and sad music. Sweary. 
I swear -y. That's that's a hell of a handle. Freemake.com? What the? Oh, okay. That's just... I get it. That's the title credits. Press start button. Why isn't this working? There we go. Options. Touchy controls. Jesus. Uh, I'm just going to leave everything normal. How sweet the sound. What the fuck? We're already at three for three creepy children in like the first ten minutes of the game. How's the sound, by the way? Is everything leveled correctly? Too quiet, too loud? I want to hear another story. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> You've been waiting a long time for this, so... How about a special one? Special. This story is very strange and very nasty, but somewhat nostalgic. Do you think you can be a good girl and what the fuck, listen dude? all the way to the end? Is it a scary story? It might be. But it's also a very uh, important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. This way, I won't be scared. Will you yeah. turn on the TV then? Leave the sound down like always. Yeah, I've had issues with, uh, I think it's OBS causing static now, in certain games. This is, this is important. At times, we must purge things from this world because I probably should have changed the frame not rate, exist. But. It is what it is. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Okay. <laughs> Adam Sandler, kids. Are you for you? Left trigger to run. This is not working at all. I don't know if keyboard's gonna work or controllers. I might have to restart this. I don't think my controller is uh, cooperating with the game. He's not moving. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use keyboard, I think. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I can't walk. Damn. Alright, technical difficulties. I should have tested the game first. I will continue the stream momentarily. Or maybe I can just um, close the game and start it over. Yeah, I'm going to have to go keyboard mouse because this don't fly. Or whatever. Or maybe there's a setting I can change. Controller. Run, attack, left button. No, there's nothing for that. Yeah. D-pad select option? Don't have that. All right. I'm going to go keyboard. And we'll start again. Play. Uh-oh, is the game going to work, though? I might have to... Oh, there it goes. 
Yeah, the keyboard just or keyboard keep on say that controller didn't want to work. Fictitious any resemblance to real blah blah. I think we can skip this. Enter. Nine millimeter handgun FBI custom. Mm -hmm. All right, get with it. At least you can skip cutscenes. That's nice. That dude's like, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, now this is much better. This guy walks fast. Alright, what the fuck was I supposed to do? <laughs> Observe. Let's hear what this person has to say. Um. Okay. Could you wait just a little longer? Jesus Christ, kid, freaking me out. This won't take long. <laughs> When E, C is displayed on screen, act with E, observe with C. Okay. Observe. A strange clock is ticking away through the room, though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. Uh huh. <laughs> Observe. A dummy for hanging costumes gives me the creep somehow. Though it might be useful for jackets and such. Francis York Morgan. Take item observe. I'll just add this trading card to my collection. Oh, handsome. What happened to the strange muttering? A white screen. Ha ha ha. How observant of you. A bench. Observe. I shall sit. That doesn't want to stay. That's very weird. The red leaves fluttering in the air. A chandelier hanging from above. Can this riddle be solved, Zach? Is there more text or do I, is it just... What the fuck was that? Alright. Hello. Observe. It's locked. The red sparks are thing. Ah, get to know. A doll shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it, which reads Washington State. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. All right. It's about time to get started. Oh, I forgot to set up the ping tuber. Son of a bitch. Oh well, it'll be all right. Zach. Zach, can you hear me? It's me, York. New York? If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Uh, good. I thought you went to sleep. Why the fuck are you calling me? Zach, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zach? Okay. Take it slow, York. Real slow. Sweet car. Is she smoking in the car with the windows closed? <laughs> 
This is Short Morgan, FBI Special Agent. Smokes and Listen, drives with the windows both up. Need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Wow, this dude's gonna yeah, wreck. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine as long as that's what Tom <laughs> Let wants. Let me browse murder Pick porn, smoke, talk on the phone, and drive He's in the rain for it. Time. It's part I don't of his job a to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? What? <laughs> All right. Hello? I believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I thought he was going to take well, some drugs. I'll be happy I was like, damn, dude, he's really going full out. Waste of time. At the very least, it would get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? Right, Zach? Yeah, sure. The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? What the fuck? Crazy. Just crazy. Dude, crack a window, you're gonna die in there. No, at least I now have a scar to show off. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. The cat wannabe? Crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Don't you have a cigarette lighter in your Mustang, dude? Really? He could talk on the phone, browse the internet, smoke, and drive, but trying to light a lighter is what puts him into the ditch. I don't believe it. <laughs> the squirrels with monkey sound effects, that's awesome. What the fuck is that? These are chimpanzee squirrels from the Pacific Northwest. Oh, your laptop's all wet. And now there's a loon. No, oh, fire's right up. Good old tobacco. Mm. Hmm. Ugh, can't smoke wet cigarettes, damn it. Zach, there goes the civilized world. You said it, buddy. A big civil... What, what, uh, sure, I guess. Flashlight on, on. Rusty pipe. Long BB. F toolbox. You got steel pipe. Damn right I do. Ancient armor. Observe. I fucked my car up. That's on fire. I should have used it to light my cigarette. Get me my crow, um, yeah, my steel pipe. Can I grab that? How do I get that? I'm just gonna go, oh, take item out. Select. Okay. What? I can't even navigate the menus.
How do I get out of here? <laughs> I want to keep the pipe. Put item away. No. My my options for okay. Put item away. No. Cancel. Yes, back. Get him up. I am confused by the menus, guys. This is not boating well. Too dumb to play video games. Page up, page down, change weapon. Oh. Oh, there's my steel pipe. Equip weapon and draw it with space, draw weapon and aim with mouse. Oh, I can also use my mouse wheel. Oh, you gotta hold down space to attack. Fuck that fence. That goes where I please. I hope it's not one of those monkey squirrels. I have special abilities, I guess, eh? Looks like we're being welcomed. Zack, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me and my steel pipe. somewhere oh a blood trail oh what the fuck huh? who killed my dog was it you other dog So much for my hopes for a peaceful picnic. Uh huh. Me and my pipe going for a walk. Do 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 do. A zombie. This calls for some firepower. This is very clumsy aiming. Looks like he's ankle deep in the dirt. Uh, maybe I want the pipe for some CQC action. Can of pickles? And you got can of pickles. Alright, we got all the pickles. Generator. Uh, control panel for the power grid. This should give us electricity. Not an expert opinion though. What the? Okay. What do I need that for? This door is old, but still functional. It might move if we had power, and no, Zach, I'm not resorting to brute force. I thought the generator was on already. I guess not. Good thing for me, I know where the generator is. I will casually walk straight-laced and fire it up. I pushed this button. How's it going? 
Um. <laughs> I like he just saunters over like, what's up? Creepy. Pull the trigger, York. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lock on. Oh, okay. Left control? My god. This is gonna kill me. Chrysler. Oh shit. Hey buddy, how's it going? <laughs> I can't fucking drive this game. Pardon me, sir. Yes. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, these controls are a nightmare. I really wish the controller worked. I got it, I got it. <laughs> First aid toolkit. Take item. <laughs> I don't was de very well. I want my crowbar back. It makes me feel safe. Oh, I got a profile. A cowboy, mysterious. I've been through a lot of crazy situations, but that one, that one takes the cake. It's the first time I've been attacked so directly. What about the scar on your face? That doesn't count. Can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? This dude's half a bubble off, man. I'll get it. Answers the phone. Oh, I could, okay. Saving. Phones is saves points. Nifty. Me and my steel pipe. Uh, I thought I turned the generator on. Now I'm locked in here with the zombies? This is bullshit. Oh, okay. I'm gonna bludgeon you. <laughs> Keep your pipe out, man. What the hell? I need that extra tenth of a second draw time. Plus, it feels like I'm walking with more purpose. Shit! Okay, AD. Well, oh, that, that didn't go well for, for, for old York. Bonk. Get bonked, scrub! Son of a bitch! Is she like putting her whole hand in my mouth? I gotta work on that AD escape maneuver. Ah, oh, my pipe is broken. I better find some health or I'm in trouble. I moved it, I don't know why. Can I jump? Yeah, 
Yeah, the whole pulling the gun, then pressing space to attack is throwing me off. I just need to be able to click. Oh, shit. Okay. Barrels are explosive. Reload. Really? I gotta... Okay. Everything requires that space bar. Son of a bitch. Ooh, new crowbar. Toolbox. You got steel pipe. I got pipe of steel. Another generator. Push button to start. Another explodey barrel. Still don't know how to get my health pack out, though. No idea where I'm going. What's up? I'm lost. Do you know your inventory button? Um, F is for flashlight. Inventory's the wheel, but was, I forget what they said it was. I should have been paying attention. Oh wait, that was just page up and page down. Yeah, I don't recall. I never played this game before. Did I not equip my knife? Oh. Nine millimeter FBI custom. I don't know where the fuck I'm going now. I knew I would get lost playing this game. It's raining. I don't have a map. phone. I don't think I want to do that. Oh, here we go. Toolbox. You got lollipop. Okay. How do I equip lollipop? <laughs> Shoot through the fence. You push the hand. Okay, I'm going to turn the generator on again. Click.
I can't be going the right way because there haven't been any more zombies. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, more boxes. It's one of those box pushing games. I like to push the box and walk through the woods in the rain. Oh shit. Freeze, ma'am. Um, I want to take item. I got it, but how do I use it? That's the question. Push buttons until I find my toolbox. Oh, what the fuck? A map? Flag, trading card, profiling, option, title. Oh, there we go. Item. Sleepy for a short while and recovers tiredness. Ah. I never played Resident Evil, so your advice is meaningless, unfortunately. So when you send your toolbox, you're not carrying on your person. Oh, I got it. So I don't want to put anything in the toolbox unless it's like super heavy. Sweet sugar can reduces hunger. Cigarette. Do I have a hunger bar? It looks like I do. Uh, in addition to health. You stuffed your face? Okay. range on this gun anyway. Oh, pretty good. Oh, more. Oh, no, it's my imagination. Reload. Shotgun. Handgun. Grenade. Oh, man, there's gonna be a zombie in this fucking house. I know it. Gonna, gonna jump on me. Where's Mr. McCrowbar? Oh, it's probably not equipped. I see. Alright. Man. 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 Toolbox. Oh, sweet. I would like to take out my crowbar oh, I don't like that that's that's too many mechanics to deal with uh, 
I gotta be healthy and hungry or like well fed. Um. Let me just electrocute myself. <laughs> You got machine broken by an axe. Okay. I have premonitions. Uh? 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 Oh, oh. Okay. You got fuse box. I would just pull the axe out of the machine first of all. Freeze, gopher! How about a taste of this? I wish I could walk while aiming, that would be nice. A sweet kiss of hot lead. Power here. I bet we'll find it. <laughs> I can't. I can't open it. The door broken. I have a gun, and it's a chain link fence, and I can clearly go around it. But god damn it! Just like real life, unlimited bullets. Observe. It's a door. Locked with a padlock, I should be able to break this if I could hit it hard enough. Huh. Well, I'll use trusty uh, steel pipe. Oh, come on, man. What are you swinging at? Oh, there we go. Infinity mag. I just wish the steel pipe was infinity, because I, I would wreck everything with steel pipe. I stick my pipe everywhere. Oh, you're going to get clubbed tenderly. Hey, who's talking? Say that to my face. Observe. No fuse. Without a fuse, it won't work. I so happen to have a fuse, though. Can I not put my fuse in? Select. Look at me. I'm an electrician. This should be an electrician simulator. The power in the area should be much more stable now. Okay. And there's going to be a zombie right outside the door. Don't do it, Zack. Get crowbarred. You want some too? I love steel crowbar. I want steel pipes for everything. Give me all the steel pipes. Oh, that's the broken one. Isn't there a regular door around here somewhere now? This way. Next to that broken cable. Man. Oh, shit. Sir, there's no loitering here. Got the dirt. Drop your weapons. It's me, the wet detective. I got a pistol in my hand and a dream in my heart. Guy blocking shots with a shovel. Hey, uh, back up, sir. 
Well, it's aiming. I'm, I'm not good at it. I'm not good. I gotta get that left control in the mix. I don't have enough hand for that. I don't have the dexterity because I'm not used to playing with a keyboard. Is there another one of these guys lurking around here? Oh, my Volvo. Stuck in the mud. Man, I don't know if I'd be getting in the water next to that live wire jerking around. Oh, shit. Shovel man. Shovel man. I'll just walk calmly away. Away from me, farmer. I would have preferred the game without combat, honestly. Because it's awkward. Dude, what the fuck? Get back in your hole. Yes. Oh man, what the hell? Are they just gonna keep spawning here? Kneecaps. Get kneecap. What the fuck? It's a loot cave, you guys. I'm just gonna kill like a couple dozen of these guys and get all the power ups. Is it my flashlight that's attracting him? Nope. <laughs> Guys, this is this is the game right here. Just a zombie killing hole nine thousand here. This isn't fair. This is this, stop spawning here. I thought I just reloaded. Great. Great. Yeah. All right. I've had enough of this nonsense. Oh, it's another mud hole. Take 10 millimeter auto bullets. I'll take those too. Shit! <laughs> okay, can't go in there. This is another zombie hole. Hey, dude, what's going on? Don't mind me, I'm just on my way to the library. Lovely day, sir. Nice to see ya. This guy only knows- Oh! I should have pushed the F button, but I couldn't even read what it said before it disappeared. It's- Oh, I think I just lost my gonads. <laughs> Investigation failure. You died. <laughs> I needed more instruction than that. I don't think I could have ADAD'd fast enough. D All right, well. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God, get out of here. Where's my steel pipe? I'm stuck on the fence. He won't go around. Oh, steel pipe still wore out. This is BS. Hey, uh. Take that, sir. Whoa. Thank you, Steven.
Back up. You're under arrest. Guys, I, I hate to say it, but I don't think I'm going to get very far in this game. Oh, it's the infinite mud hole. Yeah, if I select auto-aim, it just shoots him in the nets. Okay. I was ready that time. What the fuck? Okay. Gotta have quick reflexes. I don't even know what the F thing did, like it said. I'd have to watch the replay. Dude, I would just go back to my car and flip it over and leave after seeing the zombies, for real. Observe. Uh, red ivy. Red ivy will lock it up. Oh. Because we can't pull plants down. Yeah, man. I could smoke, drive, and, you know, do all that with the windows closed. This uh -huh. dude could definitely pick a car up. Smoke, drive, browse the internet, and it, it only wrecked when he went to go light another cigarette. He could definitely pick a car up. Is that level one complete? There's definitely something in this town. Yes, the time? monkey squirrels. I, my coffee warned me. <laughs> I have almost fell out of my chair. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. My milk never said anything like that to me. Oh, a timer? Oh, I don't do good with timers. Do you want to save? See. See. I guess I want to head south. Is there a run button? There's got to be a run button somewhere. Okay. At least it quit raining. Ba -da 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 -da. Only a football field to go. There's got to be a run button. Alt, Control, Q, R, T. Sugar donut will satisfy a small amount of hunger. Oh, hello, sexy yeah, sheriff. Late. Emily Wyatt, Greenfield Deputy Sheriff. I like your Jeep. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. My friends That's call me Francis. Agent York? Dick Sergeant? Good. Sergeant That's York. Are you the sheriff? I mean, uh, she's no, wearing I'm a... No, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily beautiful. Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you. Actually. Did you know there's zombies? I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? I was committing Smart felony work. driving yeah, behaviors and wrecked. What kind of dog? She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. Who are you By talking way, to? Don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Don't want that. Don't mention that. 
Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff. I'm Arthur Morgan. Let's go build a barn. George Woodman. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please. Special Agent David York. Duchovny. That's what everyone calls me. Well, let's all stand in the middle of a two-lane highway. Why the FBI is so interested in a small-town homicide? Well, there was a woman That's eviscerated in a tree, sir. Killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profiling. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. <clears throat> of course. Of course. <clears throat> By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. She's like, damn, I wanted to go through his luggage. Else? She wanted that steel pipe. Thanks. That'll be all. Well, then. I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. Zach Morgan? And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife here. Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the middle. Francis. And we've just met the king. Did that plate say love move? Welcome to Green Acres. Okay. 200 bucks. Yeah, there was um a spawn pit and I just kept killing them. Oh, I forgot we're just telling this broken. a weird story to this tiny I've child. I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked I don't movies? play these types of games, so I don't expect to she break did. any records. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie theater, though. Oh, God, I'm back at the creepy bench with the creepy kids. It was groundskeeper Willie. You got sugar donut. Angel Isaac. I'll just add this trading card to my collection. I'll take my trading card. 200 bucks. I would like a donut. Observe. It's locked. Fireplace, mannequins, single door. The 
looks like the door wasn't locked. Ah, uh, I'll let myself out. Da 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 da. Squealing saxophone. York. Oh. York. What the fuck? My name is Francis. Francis York. Oh no. It's a zombie baseball fan. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. I can have a gun, child. I can just shoot this dude. That guy's missing some teeth. Creepy. Who are you? I'm Haley Joel Osmond. I see dead people. A small first aid kit. No, that's not Haley Joel Osment. That's that other kid. That's in the boys now. Zach, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. Yeah, the Strange other child doll. actor. Twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. And a redhead that speaks Spanish. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Well, that'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. This guy must do a lot of drugs, because he's just like, yeah, whatever. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. My tie's poking through my back. I hope totally have some normal. coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. This is a hell of a hotel. There's a proper here. procedure for everything, right, 30, Zach? 40. Sleep, observe. Looks comfortable enough. Save game. Uh, I'll just go ahead and save, just because. <gasps> Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Uh, oh, my, my toolbox. It's in my toolbox anyway. I have a lollipop. I'm going to take that. It's a little dramatic. Hmm. Look at this. I like that one better. Look at me. All right, red jacket. Give me a cigar instead of these cigarettes. Or maybe a pipe. What's on the wall here? Pictures of potatoes. Uh. 
shave. Pictures of potatoes. Do, 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 do. Shower. The toilet separate from the shower. How very Japanese of them. Do, 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 do. But then again, who wouldn't want a giant bathroom where everything was its own area? Uh, how do I get out of here? Is this a hotel or a motel? What the fuck? Plush carpeting. Feeling I forgot something, Zach. <laughs> Zach, somebody ordered room service on my credit card. What these? Oh, vending machines. Lollipop with this dry saltine. Thirty-five dollars. What is this? The airport? Jesus. All right, thirty-five dollar crackers seems fair for twenty twenty-four. Gonna need something to wash those crackers down with. Coffee? Black. Thirty-one dollars. <laughs> you acquired coffee. Man, I'm gonna go broke. Thirty bucks for a cup of coffee. Jesus. Looks like the door wasn't locked. Oh, I like the little Spanish guitar. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready. Wow, for you need some chiropractic work, lady. Polly Oxford? Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Polly Oxford. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Polly Chronopolis. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Waffle maker? Is there a continental breakfast? What the? Is everything fuck? all right, Mr. Morgan? This table is a little yes. bit too long. It's Polly. delicious, Polly. My compliments to You'd the chef. You have to scream at I'm that woman. My cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help. What the fuck notice. did you say? Aside Why is the coffee thirty-one no dollars? Guests or workers around. What's that? The salt in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no. No one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. Are you sure about that? You've been alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh, my. We're all out of pepper. I like Dr. I'm Dr. Pepper. I'm sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. <laughs> Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh, my, Mr. Morgan. You're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Holly, Hello, I can Arias? hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do. To She's be agoraphobic. All together with such a large table in I don't want to sit next to you. We have to make use of all Eat this down space. There. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? Was it 
I feel honored. Was it? If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. Was it Barry I'll Gibb? I'll you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Yeah. Anything I, those else? Those timers you'd are like quick. Like, I, 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 uh, yeah. I like cream in my coffee. Mmm. How did that get stirred? Look with interest. <laughs> did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. <laughs> my toffee. My coffee. My toffee's no, don't call me. Go fuck myself. Never fails. Now then. What the fuck? Let's get going. Sixty-nine. Oh. I would like a free Beppus, please. You have some fantastic coffee. And find out what your fortune is for today. My fortune is that I win. Yeah, the, uh, the extra points or whatever. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, piano, can I play that? Agent Honor. Sit at piano, observe keys. Hmm. Awkwardly walk to door. What that? Wait, is this the right way? I guess so. Is there no clerk or is it just the old lady? I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna poke around where I don't belong. I'm a detective for the FBI. I'm seizing this property. Oh, look. Odd. There needs to be a jump button. Oh, really? Lore, eh? Looks like the door wasn't locked. We'll open that mug up. What the? I thought I already did this screen. Confusing. Can of pickles. I mean, wanna be a jar of pickles? Hmm. A police car. This gotta be a setting with OBS. Because I've had people complain about that from time to time. It crackles. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. For a second. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? I can get my mouth. Let's take it for a spin. Is there still crackling in the audio? And nobody wants to pull the car. Okay. Values. Uh-oh. This town has what the country needs. I think I might have Values. broke something. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Okay, we're okay. Oh, cool. Steering with the keyboard. Reverse. Honk. Boost. Left shift. Wipers on. Wipers off. Sig oh, signal. Dude, this guy does not signal. This guy doesn't even fucking follow any traffic laws. You got master key. You got flare. All right. Lights. Okay, signal mirror blind spot. What the fuck? Alright, and uh. Oh shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's touchy.
<laughs> Shit. I like the soundtrack. I don't like the steering wheel. Jesus, that guy spawned out of nowhere. U-turn. Can I like wipe out and die? Jesus, get out of the way. I'm an FBI agent. I don't know where I'm going. I turned around twice already. I get lost easy in games. I need a definite map and directions. Oh. <laughs> Good to know. Oh shit! <laughs> Don't text the drive. Oh, BS. What's that fence made out of? Play Johnny Cash hurt myself for a second. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior. Boy, this guy's pretty prejudiced against rural communities. Boy, these rednecks sure how to like know how to like you know live in buildings and drink water. Wouldn't expect that. What the fuck? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. Why do you run like a little girl? Expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Thomas McLean, sheriff's assistant. FBI special agent Francis York Morgan. Francis York Morgan. My friends call Please me Frank. Call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. From my car. No, no, just doing my job. I went through all your I stuff. Just... I kept this stuff. That I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. Anna? She was such a bright and lovely girl. Um, Did you know her well? Yeah, I said she was well, bright and lovely. No, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y Yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay. Let me know when things are okay. ready. Okay. Run along, schoolgirl. Exactly. Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. He runs like a sissy girl. Observe. Looks like the door. Okay, well, I'll just let myself in. Looks like it wasn't locked. Yeah. That guy's got a crush on me. What the hell is this? 
automatically sliding storage. Boop. Whoa. High tech shit. Boop. These are empty. Okay. These were not empty. I'm going to swat Thomas McLean on the ass. Ah, nice collection of empty shelves, eh, Tom? Boop! Alright, observe. Observe these files. No? Alright. Inner strength. He's serious. What? How? Why is he an excellent cook? How do you know that? Um, where's the dialogue? <laughs> we didn't record those lines. Uh, nice collection of VHS tapes. Flying squirrel. I guess I gotta look around the station for some keys. That's a bold assessment to make. These cops probably have nothing to do with police work. Fire exit? Ah. Shouldn't be locked if it's an emergency exit. Oh, a box. Push. Take this, you box! Come on, box. Quit playing around. Where's my flying squirrel keys? I'm Francis York Morgan, and I crush boxes. Oh, what's in here? The fuck are you doing in a cell, Jack? Oh, I get it. Why can't I talk to him? Maybe he knows where the keys are. Boxes for me to crush. Destroy. I hate boxes. Come on, Frank. There you go. Nice. I'm gonna break this box and take what's inside, too. Wait, can I use my stuff in here? Like steel pipe? Get wrecked! Oh, nothing in there. Oh, shooting range. Nice. Striped squirrel keys. I think I'll take those. Forgot his keys at the range. What a noob. Oh, look. I found the sprint button. I wonder if I could club this guy. Pardon me, officer. You probably have nothing to do with the investigation. I'm just gonna lock myself up for assault on an officer. 
Oh, shit. I can sleep in the cell? That's weird. Any convicts in here that I can talk to? Oh, what's up, buddy? XYZ102. Oh, look, bonus materials. What? I'll take those too. I got all the fucking keys. It's cheaper to assault an officer than to buy a cup of coffee. I can open this? Okay. Hopefully we'll be bringing... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, they all make a wooden squeak sound. But then again, the the, the squirrels sound like chimps, so You guys probably have nothing to do with this this investigation. Just investigation. These guys got nothing to do with this investigation. Oh, Thomas, I found the keys. Was it these ones or these ones? I thought it was the striped ones. Striped flying squirrel keys. You oh. found the key. Oh, you got your I dialogue back. this is the back. right one. Uh, you found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. It's a striped a chipmunk. Siberian chipmunk? Striped squirrel. This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Uh, okay. Lucky for you, I have two sets of keys. You found the key. That's the right one. Duh! Exclamation point. Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right it in. It was so the wrong squirrel. Please go to the meeting room. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, smile. Well, walk Zach, away. we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. I'm the worst detective. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Was her she eviscerated and was he also and eviscerated and hung from a tree? From her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal How do you life talk is without exactly your mouth moving? What a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. This guy's talking to Zach Morris, isn't he, from Saved by the Bell? Was was that eating a donut animation? Folk, huh? No, no, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad. She's a ventriloquist. Some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. This is a good biscuit. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... Have you checked your hand? I... <laughs> You're I, holding one, dipshit. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? They're very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. Tom makes the biscuits. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Stay here and make the biscuits. Yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Why is nobody's mouth moving? You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. 
I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Bro. I should get a bonus for attacking that officer with a steel pipe. Do you want to save? Yes. Turkey sandwich? Man, I could go for a turkey sandwich. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. If I'm riding in Come a on, car, George, I'd prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. I can get anywhere. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with it you. It reminds me of the um, keep an eye on Yoshi you. song from Fair Super enough. Mario, almost. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. I don't like the farting trumpet every couple of minutes, so that's George. weird. George. We'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. Who talks like that in America? Is she ex-military? Hey, George, uh, give me the keys to your uh, vehicle. Am I wearing a cape? That's awesome. FBI cape. Hey, Emily, you want to go have some biscuits? Can't just walk out of a drive-in movie. I'm taking this one. It's the sheriff's car. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. Dude, you do George, not know me at all. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to I get can the drive like a maniac. Results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. <laughs> His facial scars are well, cooler then, Agent than mine. Well, let's get going. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Where's the um, exit of the uh, parking lot here? Oh, I don't collect a bonus that way? Can I get this thing stuck? I forget how to turn the wipers on, but I think we'll be okay. Jesus. Oh. Alright. Just go off-roading. What am I stuck on? This Ford Explorer is slow as fuck, boy! Dude, where's the fucking highway entrance? Who designed this town? This is a dead end. What the fuck? Dude, I'm blowing through these gates. I don't stop for nobody. I collected that one by driving over it. How inconsistent. I need a... Oh, cool. That's nice. 700 yards. That's, dude, that's barely a mile away. He could definitely walk there. I'll drive through this big empty field until I get to the hospital. Oh, look, the highway. Oh, shit. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, Sheriff. I think I dinged your fender. Hot pickle. There, see? Just fucking go for it. What the hell? Where are we going now? You know... I don't know where I'm going. You think they could, like, tell me where to go? That might help a little bit. 
Is this underwater? A little bit? Where am I at? It's back at the hotel, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck this cruiser, take that cruiser, and then wreck that cruiser too. Alright. We've successfully driven towards and away from the hospital. Some funky piano. The steering is ridiculous. I think it'd probably just make me start over if I ran out of gas. It's 1,760 yards. It's like a 15 minute walk at the most. That's if you're going slow. That's a pretty big hospital. That's a pretty big hospital. You guys you must get hurt a lot. Uh, Town-wide food poisoning? No, no. It's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. Hard to imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. It pains me to watch my hometown lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry to say that it is. Indeed. And that's why this case is our problem. There really isn't any need Yeah, I think to you have to... Involved. I was reading on the community forum for this when I was having problems getting it just to start that uh, somebody made a frame limiter for it. Because it was... I mean, this is running on a 4070 Ti. It's going to do better than 60 Hello, FPS. Hello, Sheriff. Yeesh. Freckly Fiona. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. <laughs> the computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis. <laughs> he Stone really Ward. loves flashing that badge, you know doesn't I was he? FBI. <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. I have Rumors to get exaggerated RTSS. as they spread. I have to install in that. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes wow. grief and sadness to everyone in town. Sounds familiar, doesn't it, Sheriff? Seditious, heinous, evil, still lurking, alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, Ironic. don't say that. Oh, I think sorry, Freckly I Fiona is the murderer. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. Yeah, she works at a hospital. She's familiar with human anatomy. Reads, like, morbid books. She's the murderer, 100%. You're under arrest, Fiona, for the murder of that girl in the tree. All right, where's Dr. Hey, Emily, you want to go to a movie? I would like to steal a lab coat. Open. Pretty dimly lit hospital. 
Well, look at this cool guy with his foot up against the wall. How do we know he's not a suspect? You don't even know his name. Everyone's a suspect. Treatment room, eh? I'd like to be treated, please. I'm clearly schizophrenic. Sleep. How do I know if I need to sleep? Dr. Usha. Banging on that harpsichord. Oh, okay. So he acts tired when he needs to sleep. Oh, look, my suitcase is here. How convenient. Taken off the case. Yes, officer. He withdrew his weapon and opened fire in the middle of a hospital. Oh, who's this woman? Hello, Miss Lady. I can't. I, I would like to talk to some of these people, even if they aren't suspects. They might have an interesting clue or a rumor. slowly with hand we couldn't find him how'd you guys get in here Yona so needs to check her information no I don't think so does the doctor like playing games by any chance what do you mean he likes to play my there's a message Brothers on the computer mail. and a card key already set in place the king passes the rook and meets the bishop the knight takes a pawn along for the queen Unfortunately, the game is ahead of where you guys are seeing, so hopefully I'm muting the audio and that gets rid of the crackle. I have no idea what's causing that. I, I'm going to have to Google that later. It's an OBS problem or just a problem with my particular setup. Okay. King passes rook and meets bishop. Knight takes pawn to the queen. What? King passes. Hmm. It might have something to do with like the frame rate. I don't know. Mysteries for the internet. All right. King passes rook and meets bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. So I have to do that, or is that just whatever? Where's the fucking bishop? Oh, wait. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay. I meant to do rook first. Cancel. Rook, bishop, pawn, queen. Oh, wait. I fucked up. King passes. Rook meets bishop, knight. The doctor awaits below with the deceased. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Arthur Morgan. 
Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. Dr. Usha. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Dun, 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 dun. Then it's time to meet dun, dun, dun. the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. Pardon me, officer. Wait, where the fuck am I going? <laughs> Immediately forgets what I'm trying to do. Goldfish memory. Zach, where am I going? Why am I in the hospital? How did my suitcase get here? Why was everybody in the room before me? Well, next time I stream, I'll have to uh, fix everything with this 11-year-old game. I should probably find an elevator, huh? Stairwell, maybe? Mystery door? Hickey storage, dissecting room, toilet power room. Dead house, sleep lab. Okay. How do I go down a floor? Like this. Yes, I, your doctor, told us that you air to be our patient. Accept our enthusiastic congratulations and well wish on your coming event and be assured that we have a very personal interest in your case and have already taken steps to see to it T <laughs> that your stay in the Palo Alto Hospital will be pay us a social visit before you enter. Enter? We want to mend and gree you for yours that's very uh, thoughtful of them they're gonna agree for us or something Fafa my girl poly clinic machines yeah well proofed signs registration and filling blood urine collection x-ray room Men a women premarital exam room. Surgical exam for men, yeah. With a thermometer. Getting cold there, Francis. Hey, look. XT. Hey, the stairs. Now we're talking. These doctors must do like that prima nocta thing. We're going to have to examine your wife before we'll let you marry her. Standard procedure. Observe. I should be able to unlock that door with the car key I got earlier. Oh, how convenient. If not, there's always steel pipe. Steel pipe. Do, 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 do. Where's the smooth jazz? What in here? Shelves for storing bodies. I wouldn't open these unless I really need to. Hmm. Okay, why are there two of those then? 
Oh, look, it's Dr. Usher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now you're locked in. You son of a bitch. He's the murderer. Take the cloth off, find the key. That's what I would do. What's up here? Oh, I got an idea. I know what to do. Tell me that guy wouldn't come open the door. Oh, look, what's this? Can I sleep on the couch? Oh, save area. Can't. Get it. There. Hello, police. Lost my marbles. Fourteen dollar bag of potato chips. Thought you could hide behind your locked door, eh, buddy? Usha, oh, sure. sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Oh my god. Usher Johnson, University of Louisiana. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis Look at York my Morgan. badge. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Nah. Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. <laughs> How vague That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. Yeah, I didn't know what these pieces were. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We don't have much time. We need those autopsy we results. We need those autopsy results. What? What? <sighs> Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles. Yes, I know what rigor mortis is. I'm an FBI agent. Between 20 and 2200 hours. Now, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there what are the two exterior wounds. Pressure marks around oh. the neck and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Yes, I noticed that long Blood cut. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Hmm. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Why is nobody wearing gloves? Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. It was the tree from the evil dead that got the her. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Exsanguination. Painful Which way to go. Which means she was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Uh -huh. Her nails are clean and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. Oh, it was the a most suicide. tragic thing, however was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cry. She was holding the knife in her own hand and she, uh, Harry carried herself. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. After she cut I out her tongue. I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness and then the killer killed her. Phase her consciousness? Now, the killer most likely has a deep 
traumatized past concerns. What are you, a psychologist now? I thought you were just a forensic guy. Converse with them normally. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that or a truly hardcore sadist. Somebody call Ice T in the SVU. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Now he watched as the blood pumped. How do you know line. that? You're just as she fucking... gradually grew cold. What's the word in the court they use? Case in Seattle in 1985 was much like Usher. Please limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my damn job. right. Tell him York. Shut up, motherfucker. This is my job. You're wrong. Also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? Kill An Bill, American Bayou Werewolf Duke. in London. Hi, <laughs> I just mentioned that movie today. Directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? Uh oh. What more do you hope to find? The squirrel keys. I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. What if Zach is the murderer? Oh my god, it's like the scene from that 70s show. Stokes Weed talks, Stokes Weed talks. <laughs> hmm. His age isn't immediately apparent, though he can't be that old. Looks like a trustworthy doctor. Okay. I'm glad you can make assumptions like that. Shouldn't stare at her too long. All right. Nervous, buddy? This motherfucker. Still no hint of a smile. There's no reason we should focus our efforts on George. Who the hell else am I supposed to look at? Oh, you. So you tied yourself up in the tree, cut your tongue out, and ev evacuated your bowels onto the ground after the movie. Is that what happened? Uh. <sighs> or it was raining, too. Didn't you guys say it was raining? It's a little obvious. Look at the edge of the stump. I would like to look closer. <laughs> That's a little weird to say. What the fuck happened to her feeps? Judging from the impressions, she was holding something in her hand, but it was removed about six hours after death. Around. Around. Removed around six hours after death. Yeah, I can read. What's wrong with your face? Uh. Coffee black. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zack, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods. Aha! The hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. Maybe she bit it off. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? I like okay. to make love, if that's what you Not mean. Not particularly, I'm a, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? I'm very passionate, yes, especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like Man, that, that light in here is buzzing. He's passionate about women. 
He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Oh, kiss of death. The perpetrator bit off oh. Anna's tongue. She bit off her own tongue. Never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. You could get the pattern of the teeth, though. Potentially. No. no gloves? Dude's raw dog and a corpse? Jesus. Jackpot sack. A shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Side eye. Uh-oh. Looks like he's dealt with these things before. Case closed. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Oh. George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Bishop takes queen, his rook takes your queen, and your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Huh? Chess words. Oh. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. That shows you that Agent York is like real smart. Etc. Hmm? Oh no, it's not creepy twins, is it? Oh. Zach, they're here. My schizophrenia is back. It's time for a small break. I will return momentarily.
Okay, uh, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, wait, I forgot. Octopuses are here. Yeah, we don't use that. Uh, okay. I'd like to observe this thing. Oh, that's the save thing. I would like to save. There's a giant tentacle monster here. Seems like a good idea. I know what to do. Apparently not. This dude's tripping balls. We are almost out of pipe. That's not good. What the fuck am I hearing? Well, that clock's definitely broken. Observe the computer. It smells like a boss fight. <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to be dead. What are you doing? She seems to be not as dead. <laughs> Alright. Nothing's gonna jump out of here at me, is it? Oh, what's this? 10 millimeter bullets. Can I equip those if I go to toolbox? my 10 millimeter bullets or can I not do that from here night night thanks for stopping boy I'll probably stream again either Sunday or next week. Let's see here. I don't know how to do anything, so I will do nothing. And rely on my 9mm custom handgun. <laughs> Running in slow motion. That's a good point, but I don't think this game follows uh, that kind of logic. Oh man, I don't like these things. Go, go, go away. Goo, goo. Is another one gonna spawn right out of the pink fucking shit again? Oh, I'm moving in slow motion too. Vert the Furk. Nurses, am I right? <laughs> Monster in the doorway. I wish we still had steel pipe left.
fixes it. Alright, hmm. is it crackling right now? Okay, how about now? I'm gonna have to Google that later. Yep, okay. Well, sometimes. Oh, uh, uh, hmm. Dang, nabbit. I think this happened when I played uh, Forza the last time, too. It was crackling. Yeah, it comes and goes. Hmm. It's more of a mystery than the game. I'm guessing the big circle is where I'm trying to go. screen at all times. We'll hang our right and then go left. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Look at me checking. Okay. Wait. What? Alright, I have no idea. We'll just continue to casually scroll through here. Oh no, it's a mud hole. Great, great. Come on, York. Hit the mark, buddy. Target the butthole. Hmm, this should be interesting. I forgot. I thought it was in here somewhere. I don't know, a 
observe or look. <laughs> Duh! It's a corpse! You got card key for central building. Shit! Dude, aim. What the fuck are you doing? Yes. Butt shot. Now what? <laughs> uh, bottom right corner. Side mission. Oh, there we go. Man. I'm just... I'm dumb as a bag of hammers. Profiling, trading card, key flag, map. First aid kit. Is this a deer? Is this is a phone? Oh, now I can turn autosave on. This just must be the settings. Or can I turn that on? Well, that's nice. Aim setting. No, I don't like normal camera setting sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trading card, key flag, map. Okay. I will eat this donut, perhaps. My sleep bar is pretty low. Mayhaps. Oh wait, I wanted to try those 10 millimeter bullets. Oh, ammo for the 10 millimeter submachine gun that I don't have. All right. Push boxes. This box don't want to push no more. Well, pipe's about busted. I don't think I gotta. Listen here, box. Come on, I can't squeeze through there. You gotta be kidding me. All right, play it your way then. I will push the box.
break your stupid box. Water fountain. Well, that was kind of pointless. Oh, here we go. Now I've got the key card. I thought I had the key card. Oh, I gotta use it here. Right. in here before. Stabilizer. I already have one of those. I might sleep though, since I'm weird in the frig out. <sighs> myself hungry. What a fool. idea where I'm supposed to be going. Perhaps the map will help. Okay. The keys. I gotta get the three keys, I think. So... Turn around and go back. No, wait. Maybe? Before I go to this... I'm so confused. I think I see bullet holes too. Oh. Ah. Fare thee well, steel pipe. pipe only gets used up bashing in enemies. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I need to see more of the map at once. 
Oh, I can do that. How about that? All right. I'm going to go to the end of this hallway and turn left. Hopefully. Or have a cutscene. <laughs> hmm? 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 Here! I Over here! I thought your tongue was cut out. <laughs> no. Oh, hey. Great, 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 good, wonderful, grand, awesome, happy to be here. have that key. I got it. Machine. I shouldn't be in here with metal. That's dangerous. Oh, look, another safe spot. Turn on. Yes, press the escape key three times. That will turn on the MRI. Oh, look. A key card. Excellent. I'll take that, too. Medium first aid kit. And I'll go ahead and save, too. Why not? Just in case something big comes out and kills me. Does it work here? Yeah. What the door doing? What the door doing? my finger. Oh, shit. Oh, double shit. Does that guy have a shotgun? Hmm? 
Oh, fuck. Huh? <laughs> uh, is right. Hey, why don't you die? Thanks. Nice shot. Oh shit, where'd that come from? Get crotch blasted, son. Wait, I wasn't done taking stuff. <sighs> well, I'm glad those hallucinations Morgan, are over. If you're so desperate, then why not smoke two at once? Why don't you go fuck yourself? It. <sighs> I wanted to pick up those shotguns. Who's that old man? That's Harry. Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. But he's a weird one, as I'm sure you can see. Always dressed like that, never speaking to the townsfolk. And just FYI, he owns almost the entire town. Okay. Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. Sounds like you got a personal vendetta against this mask-wearing freak. Mr. Francis York Morton. Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stoop. Michael Tillotson. Nice to meet you, too. How did you know my name? You tell everybody you talk to and then shove your badge in their face. Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information, too. So says Mr. Stoop. Harry. Stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. <laughs> Mr. Francis York Morgan, with each rain our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable, so sad. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. Jimmy Stewart. Then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Morgan. Casual Sunday guitar. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it any thought. It's all gibberish. Gibberish. Emily here. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Agent York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. I was just about to ask if I was just having a psychotic breakdown. <laughs> okay. I don't recall killing 74 enemies, but all right. Damn, got a fat paycheck on that one. Could buy like 20 sandwiches from the vending machines. I'm just gonna eat a raw bass? I don't think so. The body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. I must play games That's a lot. That's west from here, and too far to walk. A forest it's park? It's professional for a sheriff to have it's that on the It's the pride of the plate. town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. Well, that does sound fantastic. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. 
I get to drive again? Got anything faster? Where's my Mustang? I didn't. I was just saw a big glowing arrow. I guess I could have went back and got the shotgun. I'll go with you. I must have broke something. I broke the game. Oh well, I'll just uh Oh shit, I wanna take the other option. Damn it. Ah go ahead. Alright, now I'll just drive there anyway. I kinda wanted to go back and pick up the shotgun, but eh. Oh look at this red car. I wonder if I can take that one. Take this little hot rod. Can't take this car, huh? Well, fine then. You're gonna get Grand Theft auto sir. Next time, leave your car unlocked for the law. Oh, I got a sneak button too that I didn't know I had. Creeping, I'm creeping. Get in the car. Drive like a maniac. Zach, we need to get to Greenvale Forest Park. It's apparently quite a distance, so check the map. Map schmap. I'm going off road. Come on, that was a bush. Wow, this is almost like three miles away. Hey, what the hell? Take this way. Mr. Dead End Town. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. Oh yeah. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. <gasps> I bet we can. <laughs> What the fuck? There's debris on the highway. Somebody should talk to the sheriff about this. Especially since my only options for steering are hard left or hard right. Fantastic. Man, I used a quarter tank of gas driving like two miles. This thing's a beast. 
And I'm gonna have to figure out what's causing the crackling. Hopefully it just stops. Crackling. Son of a bitch. Yeah, something's goofy. It was doing that from time to time the last time I streamed, too. I wonder if I got a bad connection somewhere. I don't know if it's the mic or the game. Good detective work every 30 minutes. I can't believe I found my way up here without looking at the map. I want to check the VOD. Man, this thing cannot go up a hill. Come on. What? Why no go? Drive! Get. It's. I'm not there yet! Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Well, just do as you please. We can head to the forest later. What the. I have a turbo? Do I need a turbo to go up a steep hill? That I could easily walk up? Zach, we need to get to Greenvale Forest oh. Park. It's apparently quite a distance, so check the map. It's my siren. Whoops. Park next to this green station wagon. So realistic. Come on. George. Tell us to come here and you keep us waiting. Is this the way the FBI treats their own people? Hello, George. I just had some things I had to do. You really are pushing it, you know that? I'm sorry if I upset you, but it was important stuff. To me, at least. That isn't the issue here. We are in the middle of a homicide investigation. He's not listening, George. I think we both know by now how little he thinks of other people's feelings. I'll be more careful from now on. I promise. I wish the music was louder so I could hear them talk. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Well, you're doing a fine job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And these two discovered the body? Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. The creepy twins. Zach, you see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily, please. I'll just take them over there then. 
Thank you. Don't let him eviscerate you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on. They're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zach? How heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Emily's right. That's stone cold, even for the sake of investigation. Children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot, and they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them, standing so upright there. Now then, Isaac, Isaiah, tell me, what did you find here? Anna, she was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shining. Bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrels, weasels, and a snake. A real snake. Real snake. We didn't know until then. Solid but we snake. know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah, she was a fairy. A goddess. Nothing. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, of course. Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub. Our unknown subject was here, too. So, what happened here? Burn the tree down. Start profiling. <sighs> Monkey squirrels. What the fuck? Anna. Ow! Crap! Jeez. You wouldn't just download a car. Smoke two at once. Jeez. Must Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Hmm. More clues, eh? Two bent pieces of grass. <sighs> Didn't we just have this flashback a second ago? George, what the fuck are you doing? Picture of a vest with holes. Observe. Uh huh. Hmm. Time for some flashbacks. Oh, it's that guy. You think George gonna walk around like a weirdo for a couple more minutes? As you requested, we have permission to stay and look around as needed. But what are you planning on doing? To examine the scene, of course. I plan on smoking. Or the crime investigation at once. 101. We might uncover some further evidence. My men have covered this already. 
I seriously doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car if that's the case. But I'll take my time here. Alright. Let me just poke around here. Oh, weird fucking tree. Red fucking leaves. Guy walking like a jackass. Small cabin. What the fuck is in here? Observe the bird's nest. Come on, York. What are you doing? Observe. Look up. What the fuck are you doing? Look at the fucking tree. Good lord. Look at the fucking tree, guy. You're killing me, Smalls. Can I jump? I can crouch. Tell me there's a jump. I can't observe this fucking tree. For some reason. Sleep, observe. I would like to observe this bird's nest. Maybe I can shoot it out of the tree. Hey, look at me. Figuring stuff out. Gotta be some more clues around here somewhere. Say hello to my little friend. Can of pickles. Pipe is broken. Damn it. I love that pipe. Shit. Didn't learn my lesson the first time. The fuck was that? I want to go up here though, because I thought I saw something, bro. Oh, another bird's nest. How about that? Interesting. Wait, what the hell else is over here? Son of a bitch. Take the pickles. I thought I picked them up too. Am I not picking these up or is there just a shitload of them? Shitload of pickles. What the fuck? 
Unlimited pickles. Right. Jesus Christ, what's with all the fences here? Nothing up here, for reals. There's gotta be another, oh, there we go. In the tree. Oh, fuck. George thinks I'm shooting at him. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti-peace sentiment then. These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression... This guitar does not here, fit the... Uh, Agent Morgan? ...scene at all. I see what happened here. He hung her from the tree and put on her shoes. He was really enjoying it. Sicko. And he knelt down. And... Disgusting. George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zack? Well, what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. Joel Schumacher. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zack. What the fuck are you talking about? Filing is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Furthermore, there would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Zack, what was he doing in front of Anna? Taking pictures of, of broken heels and grass. Well, that showed me absolutely nothing. Now I get it. He was kneeling to pray in front of her. Mm -hmm. Just like the twins said, she was a goddess. The unsung, our unknown subject, offered prayers to her his body. It's bitten out tongue, massive body wound. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship, so, who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close, coming up to the body, and then farther apart, going away. There was a reason to hurry away, then. That settles it, then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. 
She could be another victim who was with Anna. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. I got a cowboy hat. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. You might know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, at least two. I should think most of them have at least one pair. It was I her. do, too, before you ask. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. It was you, wasn't it, Francis? Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. Uh -huh. She just happened to be out of town when this murder happened. Then we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. Look at a my more finger. Immediate matter, then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore, with either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. The, the old, old lumber, lumber mill. mill. The old lumber mill. Zoink, Scoob, it's the old Next lumber time mill. really get this show on the road. Good, Shaggy. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? Clear. Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna call the stream there. The lumber Save point. Far from here. Good breaking point. If that's where she was killed. So I will see you all on the next one. If you are along for the ride, all the way here. I don't know yet. My profiling instincts tell me one thing is for sure, though. The song keeps the playing. Unsub's I can't figure it out, totally Zach. totally different before and after the crime. The unsub killed her in a brutal, horrifying way, and then displays powerful adoration after. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. See you on the next stream. Goodbye, everybody. And see if I can fix some of the issues with the game and the sound and whatnot. Fare thee well.